Hello and welcome to Whiskey Resource. I'm back for another whiskey review. This is going to be a showdown of three whiskies blind taste tested. Uh, so, my wife has already poured the whiskies into these coloured Glen Cairns. There's three of them. She's put a number beneath each of the Glen Cairns representing the three whiskies that I'll be trying. So we've got this one here, we've got the High Commissioner, which is a blended Scotch whiskey from Loch Lomond Distillery, bottled at 40% ABV. It has a value score of 84. Then we have this, it is the Coach Built. Again, it's a blended Scotch whiskey. It comes from the company that Jensen Button, the Formula One driver, created with his uh, business partner, George, Sorry, I can't remember his surname. Um, that gets a value score of 86.57. And the final one is the Sassenach Blended Scotch Whiskey. Again, this one's 46%, just like the Coach Built. The Sassenach is um, from the Loch Lomond Distillery, a blended Scotch whiskey. Don't know an awful lot of details about the two of them uh, at 46% in terms of chill filtration and colour. Uh, there's no real information that I can find. Um, the the Sassenach gets a value score of 82, so it's the worst of the three. But prices, Sassenach is 79.95, the coach build is 43.49, and the High Commissioner is actually the cheapest whiskey you can buy at the time of recording on Masters of Malt. It retails for £15.99. Um, so just to go over them again, we've got High Commissioner, 40% ABV, retailing for £15.99 with a value score of um, 84. Uh, that will be chill filtered, probably has colour in it. Then we have the Coach Built from the Jensen Button Company. Um, it's 46% ABV, we don't know about chill filtration, we don't know about colour, it gets a value score of 86.57, retailing for just over £43 for a bottle. And finally, we have the Sassenach from Sam Huguenin, if that's how you pronounce his name. He's an actor uh, on the TV series Outlander. His whiskey um, is bottled at 46% ABV, uh, produced by the Loch Lomond Company, retailing for £79.95 for a standard bottle with a value score of 82 that is quite an expensive whiskey um, at 79.95. I picked up a sample to do this three-way shoot off uh, to see which one is the, um, or which one I find the best, what I reveal them and taste notes, that kind of thing. See if I can guess which one is which. Now the High Commissioner, as I bring them back over, this is a bottle I've just opened, well so I say my wife opened it, she poured the drams, never had it before. Uh, there's some beans, some good things said about it. Don't know which one's which. Let's let's see what I can um, discover. So one the first one, have the red Glen Cane. So given they're all blended Scotch whiskies, we're expecting um, quite a note of um, grain coming through, which is normally sweet. That's what I'm getting on this. It's a sweet grain note, but a Scotch. It's quite creamy. Again, that, that can be notes of grain. There's elements of spice going on, but it's it's more creamy, butterscotch, caramel. It's a pleasant but youthful nose, we'll see on the red Glencairn. Okay, next one up, we have the blue Glencairn. Can't tell by colour, which one's which. Again, this one is... It's a bit more... It's It's sweet, it's grainy. But the grain is more, um, what's the word, restrained. It's a bit more earthy, floral, herbaceous. I think I prefer the nose compared to the red one. Yeah, this one, I prefer the nose of. In terms of ABV, I would say the blue is popping a bit more than the red. So the red, I'm going to go just off the nose of the two so far, the red being the High Commissioner. It's, um, yeah, herbaceous. 
not bad, not bad nose at all. Okay, and onto the final drink here in the green one. Ooh, this is a bit more spiky. This is more perfumed. It's a bit more, um, more flowery. Palmer violets, maybe. It still has a bit of a herbaceous element to it. It's probably 46% as well. Not much, there's not much difference going on between these two. Very similar on the nose. Very, very herbaceous, more floral than this one. It's not really revealing much in way of um, fruits. Yeah, very, very similar. Very similar noses indeed. I'm preferring, I think, the blue nose. Hmm, interesting. No idea. Just give me palette there. Shall we go to the tasting? At this point, I'd, I. I can only guess that the red was the High Commissioner. Uh, with regards to the other two, both 46%. Not sure which one's which. But we'll see which one I prefer on the palette. In this case, one, the red one. I'm getting, I'm getting a herbaceous, earthy hay. There's a bit of caramel, almost tail and smoke coming through there. ABV. It's spiky, it's young. I wouldn't have said it was a 46% though. As I said, that was a 40. So I think the red is the high commissioner. It's tasty. That that um, grain element is not coming through particularly strongly on the palate. It's not overly sweet. It's got a toffiness, sweetness about it, but that's about it. It's very much an easy drinking whiskey, that one, that red. Give it another sip. The initial, the arrival um, on your palate does have a spike of sweet grain, but quite easy, quite quickly um, blends into the other flavours that are getting provided in there. Um, we don't know what the malt content of it is, um, but being a Loch Lomond, I suspect as a high commissioner, that like this one is, not really getting apples, pears, those kind of notes that you would normally associate with um, with some of the Lot Lomans. I'm getting a faint smoke element to it, very faint. Not enough to distract. On the blue. Now, after the taste of that, this blue is more fruity now. It's had time in the glass beyond when my wife poured it. I'm starting to get a bit of orchard fruit coming through. It's maybe some spices as well. I don't know if I mentioned that before on the palette. Quite thin, quite spicy. 
quite sweet. Caramel, apples, pear, bit of cinnamon. Hmm. It's different to the, the red. It's not bad, it's not terrible. No idea. No idea. <clears throat> I would say on the palate, I mean this is this the heat is 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 more pronounced. I think I'm preferring the red glen cane for flavor, so flavor. The blue was better for nose. It's still quite young. Still getting elements of funky uh, vegetal notes, herbaceous elements coming through there. So far, preferring the palette of red and the nose of the blue. <clears throat> the green. Yeah, it's very herbaceous, this one. Interesting. This is just reminding me of the um, Kuba Khan noses that I had in the Twit Tastings um, a few weeks ago. Pala. Very perfumed, very herbaceous. It's 46%. It is, it is perfumed. Of the three, I'm not liking the green as much. It didn't really do much on the nose compared to the two. Um, it was similar to the blue for nose, which I thought was better than the red. So this sits in the middle for the nose, but palette, it's clearly not as nice. It's unique, it's different. It's leaving a bit of a bit of a bad taste in my mouth. It's it's too yeah, it's too floral. It's too perfumed. It's too too much of um rose violets. Um poor Corey. I'm not getting any classical Scotia notes on that. No Scotia. A lot of Loman notes. Very much the green elements are appearing. Yeah. That's 46%. That is my least favourite. So whatever the green is, that is bottom. Sorry about all the bottle squeaks. I'm just trying to clean a bit of my palette out. Yeah, I'm not too keen on the green. Hope it's not the high commission of it because I've got a full bottle of that. The one in the um, infinity bottle. Right, so. Ooh, a bit creamy now, the blue. Coconut, which is a note I do get occasionally on the um, Lot Loman grains. Bit of a coconut going on there. These two are very similar. So process elimination. I'd say the greens that the coach built 
which is a um, blend malt, blended Scotch whisky. Um, I believe it's using whiskies from the five regions of Scotland. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's Isla. I don't think it's Campbelltown mentioned, but I'm sure this, this said on, on the website it was um, Highland, Lowland, Speyside, Isla. I think Island whiskies went into it. So I'm going to have a quick quick web look, but I'm, I'm certain that, that that the green could well be the coach built. Um, yeah, so coach built first released from coach built whiskey, which was founded by uh, spirits expert George Kusakis and former racing driver Jensen Button. The splendid Scotch whisky is made from spirits from the five five of Scotland's whisky producing regions and married together in ex sherry casks, building a rewarding profile. <laughs> I'm not getting sherry. But then again, now I say it, sub subjectivity is coming in. Um, Flavour profile. This is currently on offer on flash sale for the um, the sample, which I paid two fifty four. I think the um, Sassanac was seven pounds something for the sample from Masters of Malt. So taste notes: we're getting butterscotch, pineapple, butter crumpets, chocolate peanuts on the nose and the palate. It's ginger snaps, espresso, espresso, candy peels, a touch of uh, peat smoke drifting in. No, I didn't get peat smoke on that one. But I think I said it on the red. But anyway, drifting away. Let's go back the other two and we'll do a final decision here. So yeah, the green's my least favourite. Very coconutty now, the green. No, sorry, the blue. The red. Yeah. Now I mentioned coconut, I'm getting that on the palette, on the red. I would say the red and the blue are the same whiskey. I'd say they were um, both a lot Lomans. I think the blue is the Sassanac. I think the red is the High Commissioner. In terms of um, which one I prefer, I prefer the nose of the red. I prefer the palette of the blue. The green is very off-putting, very perfumed. So whatever the green is, if that's the coach built, no, no. Which one's which are the red and the blue? And I probably got these completely wrong. Which one do I prefer? I think on the palette, the blue has it. I've mentioned that before. And I think the palette's more important than the nose. Ultimately, the palette is what you're going to be um, experiencing the most through the pump drinking. So, um, in terms of order then, it's the blue, the red, then the green. Would I buy any of them? Well, obviously, I've bought the High Commissioner. Um, after tasting the three of them, I think, well, the High Commissioner is a new bottle. Obviously, it needs time to open and breathe and what have you, but you can't 
uh, get past the fact that it is um, 1599 it's more than it's less than half the price of the next cheapest it's um, it's it's what 20 20 percent almost of the cost of the um, Sasnak so the High Commissioner is one of these three beats hands down whichever three it is if it's the green then it's disappointing uh, but I don't think it is the green uh, and I think the High Commissioner wins this one um, that's my guess I think it's the High Commissioner um, is the better one on but on tasting and nosing whatever is in the blue Glen can uh, just nips it in the bud Shall we find out? See what we've got here? So, numbers. This one is number one in the green Glen Cain. In the blue Glen Cain, we have number three. And then in the red, we have number two. So, number one, green, number two, red, number three, blue. Let's find out. So, my commissioner is number two, uh, which I said was the red Glen Cain. Um, so I was right on the nose. So I think number two, uh, number three, rather the blue, is the Sassanach. No. Number three is the Sassanach. Yeah, sorry. Number three is the Sassanach, which is the blue. So the Sassanach on palette wins it. Um, Lot Lomond. And then we have number one, which is the coach built. Number one is the least favourite. Yeah, that's that coach built. It's nah. There's something wrong with that coach built. It's not nice at all. Uh, so the high commissioner wins it in the red very 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 similar to this the um the sasnatch which wins on palette but for the price it's just a daylight robbery given it's very similar to the red glen of the high commissioner job done